rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa As-salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidil Mursaleen wa ala alihi al-tayyibin al-tahirin. Respected elders and my dear brothers and sisters, muhtaram huzurgo or bhaiyo bahna. Children are a great blessing from Allah. With their tender hearts, children can be molded into righteous people only with a positive and tender approach. Islam considers children to be an amana, trust given to the family, and says it is far for the family to raise a child in a righteous manner. One should not favor one child over another. In Islam, both male and female children should be loved and cherished. The children have certain rights over their parents. It is the family's obligation to shelter, feed, clothe, educate, support, nurture, and love them. Bache Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala ki taraf se bohot wadi ni'mat hai. Islam bachcho ko amana samajhte hai jo ki family ko diye gaye hai aur ye batlata hai ki ek family ke liye fard hai ki wo bachcho ko sarahin ke tarika par parvarish kare. Islam mein dono bachcho ko chahiye ladka ho ya ladki ho equal treatment aur muhabbat kare. The fact is that when someone shows love to a child, only then will the child feel more confident and stronger. Kids know when there is a difference in the attitude of adults, whether or not an adult shows love will have a big effect on the child. حقیقت تو یہ ہے کہ جب کوئی بچے کی طرف محبت سے بیش آتا ہے تو بچہ کانفیڈنٹ اور قوی محسوس کرتا ہے The Prophet صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم is the role model for all of humankind His attitude towards children was always compassionate and merciful Being fond of children, Prophet Muhammad صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم showed great interest in playing with them His involvement in children's games shows us the importance of playing with kids he would have fun with the children who had come back from Abyssinia, which is now Ethiopia, and try to speak in Abyssinian with them. It was his practice to give rides on his camel to children when he returned from journeys. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam sari insaniyat ke liye ek role model hai. Aap sallallahu alayhi wa sallam bachon ki taraf hamesha shafaqa aur handari barate. بچوں کے ساتھ فن کرتے جو ابھی سنیا اور جیسے اسیوپیا کہتے ہیں سے آتے اور ان سے ابھی سنیا زبان میں بات کرتے جب رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کسی سفر سے واپس آتے تو یہ آپ کی پریکٹس رہی کہ آپ بچوں کو اپنے ان پر سوائے دیتے ہیں some people couldn't understand the power of showing love to children, wondered why the Prophet ﷺ played with children and took such an interest in them. Abu Huraira said, Allah's Messenger kissed Hassan ibn Ali while Aqra ibn Habis at Dimim was sitting with him. Aqra says, I have ten children and I have never kissed one of them. The Prophet ﷺ cast a look at him and said, Whoever is not merciful to others will not be treated mercifully. Rawah al-Bukhari. Which log nam hi samjha pata bachyo par muhabbat zahir karne ki taqat aur sonjte ki Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam kiyo bachyo si khelte aur unne mein itni dilchispi rakte. Abu Huraira radiyallahu anhu farmate hai رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم نے حضرت حسن ابن علی رضی اللہ عنہ کو بوسا دیا جب اقرا ابن حادث التنین بیٹے ہوئے تھے اقرا نے کہا میرے دس بچے ہیں اور میں کبھی بھی کسی ایک بچے کو بوسا نہیں دیا رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم نے ان پر ایک نظر دار اور فرمایا جو بھی بچوں پر رحم دلی نہیں کرتا ہے اس کے ساتھ بھی رحم دلی نہیں کی جائے Finally, I would like to add another saying of the Prophet that proves that Muslims should make sure to treat their sons and daughters justly. 
Fear Allah and treat your children, small or grown, fairly with equal justice. From all the hadith I just said, we see Prophet Muhammad's attitude towards children as an example for, whole, for the whole of the human race that shows how to treat them and cherish them at all times. Akhir mein ek aur hadith sharif ad karam ki jo proof karti hai ki musulmanon ko chahiye ki wo apna beta aur betiyon ki saath sah treat karna sunna karna. Bukhari aur Muslim mein hai Allah se daro aur apne bachcho chota ya bada ke saath fair treatment karo. Subhanallah. Wa asalu da'wana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin.